<laughs> you could just see the way she was sniffing the pup. Just took them on straight away. It's just so nice to see a mum take on a job like that. So she had nine pups of her own and then suddenly had seven more. So 16 pups. <laughs> she loved them just like they were her own. Oh, what a good girl. I wonder if she even knew in the end whose were hers and <laughs> who was the orphans. Because she just looked after them all the same. Someone called us because they saw a dog on the street. We didn't know straight away she was pregnant. It was about seven weeks after she was rescued to give him birth. Alejandro very, very scared. I think she definitely felt relief, but loud noises or new people was really frightening for her. <laughs> we got the call about seven puppies that had no mum that had been found 10 hour drive away. It was a long drive for them to come. They were literally just a few days old. A lot of the time when we give other pups to nursing mums, it's because they've lost their own pups. This is the first time that we've had two litters mixed like this. And Alejandra straight away showed us that she really was happy to look after these pups. Oh, look. <laughs> That's amazing. And I mean, super mum, just brilliant. Well done, Alejandra, thank you. Are you crying? <laughs> come on. Are you gonna come and feed the babies? We didn't want to overwhelm her, so we rotated them with bottle feed. So it wasn't so much work for her. She fed them, she protected them, she kept them warm. And it's so important for their emotional growth as well to kind of have that kind of bond. We tried to build her confidence with us. So we took her lots of special food. Another special lunch for Alejandra today. The galgo is supposed to be quite thin. You're supposed to see a few ribs. You deserve that. Yes, you do. And more. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> As the orphan pups and her own pups got bigger, they actually brought the puppy out a little bit in her. She would start to play with them and she just looked like a younger dog herself. They were just really sociable and you could just see that Alejandra had raised them really nicely. Who's going to their new homes? They all found homes quite quickly. The puppies went all over the world, living the life. <laughs> Real personality only really started coming out after she left the pups and she was able to really focus on herself. We took her out on lots of walks to the beach. She had lots of dog-friendly ice creams. <laughs> she kind of was seeing the world in a whole new light. So about two months after leaving her babies and really growing in confidence, we felt it was time that she left for a new home. You go on a journey together, it's tough to say goodbye. We thought, oh, how will she cope from being in sunny Spain to snowy Finland? But we knew it would be great. Good girl. It was one day before Christmas when I brought her home. <laughs> it was the best Christmas ever. The first three or four days, she just slept. She was very shy and confused that what is this place? Lura being very calm, I think her energy helped her a lot. It was five days after she arrived and suddenly she just kissed me and my heart melted because in a way she was saying that I trust you. Then we went for a walk on the frozen lake and she was just bouncing around happy and she was in her own frame and it was like she knew who she was. Nanda! <laughs> After that, she's always been like that. Although she's 10 years old, she's like a puppy again when she plays. I decided to name her Nanda 
and it means blissful and happiness in Sanskrit. She vibrates on a frequency of love and sometimes she literally puts her head against mine. In a way, I think she is healing me. Whatever has happened, you always have the option to choose to leave it behind you. Live in the moment and be happy. And I think Nanda is a great example of that. <laughs> that's what she does and that's what she taught me.